I can understand why you didn't want me to see this. You're a little toy town nightclub. And you think of the places I used to run. Get out. But I haven't made my delivery yet, and it's so much more interesting than mixers and spirits. It's very careless of you to have lost this, you know. I didn't lose it. If you think I'm going to beg you for it back, you've got another thing coming. Go on, get out. OK, fine. I don't want to outstay my welcome, but it's a shame when Joel has such fascinating things to say. <sighs> like a bad smell. Uh -huh. I know you don't want Joel's letter. It's not Joel's letter. I don't believe you. I forgot I had something else for you, too. I, uh, I thought you might want it back. Since you obviously do still care about the kid, then why would you have written to Joel? Hmm? He quotes the letter you wrote. Ah, you've tripped yourself up now, because I never posted that letter. Oh, well, funny old world. I mean, Joel must have received it. Well, why else would he be writing to you about your little daughter? Don't you speak about her. Dear little Amy. Give me that. There's nothing in here. So, why do you want to hear from him anyway, eh? Dragging up the past, eh? All that hurt. Hurt that was caused by you. No, caused by you harping on about what and how things might have been, eh? I mean, now that you know she's dead, surely you can let it all go, hmm? I will be the judge of when to let it go, all yeah, right? But you were never a very great judge of what was good for you, Veronica, were you, eh? I always had to step in, eh? Save you from Joel, save you from yourself, and here I am. Doing it all again. 